Hi, welcome back to Delaware Studios. Let's talk about Firebase Cloud Messaging, which provides a platform for sending messages to and from client apps and websites. This platform is ideal for sending notifications to users and implementing real-time instant messaging solutions with minimal coding effort. This can be achieved either using the Firebase console or programmatically from a trusted server environment via HTTP, XMPP or the Node.js code. So I'm going to integrate Firebase into the Android project using Android Studio. Firstly, you go to head straight to the Tools menu and you opt for the Firebase. So you have the Assistant Draft uh, showed where you can get to set up some functionalities in Firebase. We have the analysis, cloud messaging, authentication, rates and database storage, remote config and so on. But we are going for the cloud messaging. So you click on cloud messaging. Uh, before you do this, you must have connected uh, to the Firebase console. So we have to set up Firebase cloud messaging. So you can still do this step one more time. If you notice, I've been connected earlier on into the Firebase console. But if you haven't, you click on connect to Firebase. So you have to connect up to Firebase. After that, I will, I'm going to add the FCM, that's the Firebase Cloud Messaging, to your app. So you click on this, and you have the dependency, which is the Firebase Messaging 10.0.1, the latest one. So you need to accept changes for that to be set up into your build Gradle file. So after this, I uh, will be added straight to the layout. I will create a layout uh, where we're going to actually uh, send message and we'll be using the Firebase console to actually uh, make this work. So don't go anywhere. Turn off the dependencies, if you can see, uh, set up correctly. You need to assess the device registration token. This is actually going to use a unique uh, registration token, which actually identifies the app and the device running. So we have to go through this third step uh, right there in the source code. So let's head straight to the build gradle and see uh, how the dependency is being included. Uh, if you notice, we have this, the Firebase messaging 10.0.1. Cool. Head straight to the layout. We have the activity messaging XML. This is out of the box, uh, the default layout created while uh, creating this project at first. It's a constraint layout as the parent and that's the text of hello world. So it's just a simple uh, default layout. Uh, but we'll be heading straight to the Java classes where the logic lies. The first, we'll talk about the Firebase ID service and the messaging activity, which is the launcher. Uh, this uh, is the launcher activity, and let's quickly look at how it's been uh, constructed. We have the app compact activity, which was extended, and then the onCreate method. You set the content view to the activity messaging, which is the default XML I showed earlier, and the bundle. Or we create a custom data that's an object of the bundle which gets an intent and the extras pass that to the custom data so we test for the data if it's not equals to null uh, we have uh, a text view being called that finds the text view which is the text view of the hello world so the id and we set the text uh, to the to the text view called the my q1 that's just a mere uh, testing of the custom data but now let's get to look at the firebase id service where we get to generate the token for either your emulator, because you'll be testing that on emulator or device. That should be a unique token. Uh, the token I'll be generating now will be different from the one you'll be generating for your device or emulator. This extends the Firebase instance ID service. That's a super class where we need to call the on token refresh method, which has been override, overridden. And uh, you set the token string. Uh, what about you get the Firebase instance ID, you get the instance and get the token, you pass that to the token as a string, and we're going to log this to the tag, that's either to the lockout or to the Android monitor, you get to have that, so we have the registration token will be equals to the value of the token of that particular device. After that, you trigger the send registration to server, we get to still implement that uh, later on, where you pass the token as the parameter and we have the method over here to actually take the token as a parameter so let's quickly run this and we'll be looking at the lockout or the android monitor 
and I am actually running this on the device. So we are get to uh, extract the registration token. We copy that and we'll be using that subsequently. So let me get to do that. I'm gonna run this. Testing that. There we go. When I ran the app, I actually found the registration token. So if you notice, I have that uh, split out in the lockout, which is the Firebase ID service. So you can easily copy this. It's quite long. So you just have to copy that and keep it somewhere. So I'm doing that. Let's copy this. I have that copied, and I'll be headed straight to the Firebase console where I have this setup. So I'm going to send my first message. So you have to opt down to the notifications menu over here in the grow. Uh, menu so you click on notifications so I'm going, I'm going to send my first message so once you click on this uh, you have that uh, initialized and we'll be able to send our first message to the device make sure that you are you are running on background so that uh, it's actually going to show the notification and I'll actually be testing that so let's you, you actually type the content of your message let me say testing out first firebase cloud messaging notification send it now we're going to send it to a single device so you have to click on that so i have the fcm registration token i just copied i paste the right inside here and uh you hit on your send message you have the review message for the delivery date, expiry date, time, or weeks, the targeting the single device. Cool. Click on send. And uh, I'm going to actually look at my device. I got the notification. I want you to text that as well. Test it. Testing out the Firebase Cloud message. I have the notification right here. So that's cool. So that's the very first step to include Firebase Cloud messaging into your Android project and you have that uh, notified in your emulator or your device. Firebase can be used to set message in key value pairs just like the JSON uh, object notation as we know. So for us to do that, let's get back to the source code and uh, go to the messaging activity. If you notice, we are getting a string which is uh, a key of my key one. So we have to pass a value into uh, this key so that we'll be able to get the value when we uh, send uh, the message. So we're actually going to do that this way. Uh, head straight back to the Firebase console and uh, we're going to actually type a new message and uh, we'll get to see how that's going to work. So it said, let's say, testing out the key value pairs. Value cool. We're sending it now. Uh, we should be sending it to a device which we have its registration token. Is that right there? So, in your advanced option, let me just take that off. In your advanced option, just uh, expand that. You have it uh, set this way. Now you have the custom data. What's the key? Head straight back to copy this because that's the key we specified and uh, type that in so let's give a value let's say we are rocking this okay, rocking fab is notification so we've actually placed that right there and uh, you can easily send your message 
So look at the device and send your message. You have that, the review, and you click your send, uh, which you're actually going to get that uh, set up. Cool. I have the message came in and uh, I can easily see uh, the value of the of the of the key that we actually did. For us to make our notification get called when the app is in the foreground, uh, you need to declare or create a Firebase message service, which extends the Firebase messaging service. And uh, this as a constructor of Firebase message service, and you have to write a method called on message receipt that takes in the remote message object as a parameter. So this is where we actually use to log to tag to see in our console where the message is coming from. And if the remote message notification is not equal to null, uh, we set the notification tied to, we get the notification tied to as well. And uh, the notification message, we get that too. So we also get the data. We just want to be very sure that we get those callbacks. We get the data, which is the key, uh, the value of the key we are passing. So we are expecting the title, the message, and the data, which is the, the value of the key we are expecting. So we're actually going to get that in log. So you can easily test that. I'll be testing that as well. And let's not forget, you need to register the service of the Firebase message service right there in the Android manifest, which is the metadata of your application. So I'm going to paste it right there, which is the Firebase message service. That has an Android name of the messaging event. So with this, I'm going to run an application and I'm going to actually test this out one more time. So let's test this out together. The message text having a full-blown Firebase cloud messaging. Delivery time now, let's do that now, to a single device. Try to paste in the registration token and uh, I'm going to actually expand the advanced options. So we're going to have uh, the custom data. The keys, uh, let me hit straight back to uh, the message service so that I'm going to be very sure of what we are picking. Pick that up and paste that right in here. Just a testing out. And uh, priority, very high, sound disabled, cool. So you can easily send your message now and uh, you know, hit that and make sure you place your device or emulator uh, on foreground for you to actually get that notification sent to you. We have that completed and uh, here come the notification, it's arrived. And uh, you can easily uh, debug that and check that in the locker. So that's cool. So this is just uh, the basics of how to actually go about uh, integrating notification, uh, Firebase Cloud Messaging into your Android application using Firebase. So thank you very much for hanging out with you this session. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a blessed time.